Have you ever contemplated the nature of our solar system and its uncanny resemblance to an atom? The arrangement of celestial bodies with the Sun, our very own nucleus at the center and planets akin to electrons orbiting around it. But let's go deeper down this rabbit hole. What if all the planets in our solar system are simply Earth, but at different stages of evolution? Picture this, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, is Earth in its infancy, still raw and unformed. As we move further out, each planet represents a different phase in Earth's life, culminating with Neptune, the furthest planet, symbolizing the wise grandfather version of Earth. It's an intriguing thought, isn't it? But here's the catch. Our conventional understanding of physics scoffs at this idea, deeming it impossible. However, the world of quantum physics dances to a different tune. Have you heard of quantum physics? In the quantum realm, conventional physics breaks down. Those rules no longer apply. This is the domain of the tiny, the minuscule, the microscopic, where particles like electrons and protons play by their own rules. Here, reality as we know it takes a back seat, making room for the bizarre and the inexplicable. One of the most intriguing aspects of quantum physics is the concept of superposition. This idea suggests that a particle, say an electron, can exist in multiple places at the same time. Yes, you heard that right. The same electron can be here, there and everywhere, all at once. It's as if our little electron has mastered the art of quantum cloning, popping in and out of existence at will. This strange behavior has left researchers scratching their heads in wonder and curiosity. But what's even more fascinating is the reason behind this seemingly impossible phenomenon. You see, at the subatomic level, gravity, the force that keeps us grounded, literally and figuratively, doesn't hold much sway. It's like a leash that's been loosened, allowing particles to roam free and wild. Without the constraint of gravity, electrons can pull off their vanishing acts and reappear elsewhere. Now let's take this quantum spectacle and zoom out, way out, to the vast expanses of our solar system. It's a bit like an atom, isn't it? With the sun as the nucleus and the planets as the electrons dancing around in their orbits. Could the planets be mimicking the behavior of electrons in the quantum realm? Could they too exist in different stages of evolution, much like electrons existing in multiple places at once? The answer lies in the waves of gravity that ripple through space. At the high points of these waves, we see the orbits of the planets. At the lower side, they become unobservable, just like electrons popping in and out of existence. This could explain why we see the planets at different stages of their evolution, all at the same time. But what about our solar system? It resembles the same description as an atom, elements orbiting around a nucleus, the sun. So as we delve deeper into the mysteries of quantum physics, we find that the universe might be singing the same tune from the smallest particle to the grandest galaxy. As above, so below indeed. Could the solar system be reenacting the same performance on a grand scale as it does on a subatomic scale? Could this be the truth hidden within the scripture in the book of Matthew, where it said that heaven can be found within a mustard seed? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, these questions continue to tantalize and inspire us. If you are a passionate explorer of the mysteries in our cosmos and eager to uncover new perspectives, you've come to the right place. We post thought-provoking videos every day, so don't miss out on any of our mind-blowing episodes. Hit that subscribe button now and embark on more awe-inspiring voyages of discovery.